guys, I want you to be completely honest with me. Do you still play Marvel's Avengers? That's the first part of the question. And the second part of the question is, is Marvel's Avengers still even downloaded on your PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox, your PC, wherever it may be? Is it still downloaded? Let me know in the comment section below because, well, today's video is an interesting one. It's more so about how we are at such a pinnacle moment, I guess you could say, of this game's life. I guess we can call it and well it's basically a deep one that's probably the best way to to really describe this so that's why I asked that question and I'm gonna be honest with you guys as well and answer that question myself in this video but before we get into that stuff don't forget today's sponsor which as always is instant gaming and I can honestly say in fact you may as well call yourself crazy if you don't use instant gaming the prices versus the games you get and just the value on that website is absolutely insane I personally use them for my PlayStation Network cards. I've purchased a few games from them in general as well, but the prices versus the games and like I'm talking brand new games for an unbeatable price, quite literally, it's insane. So go ahead and check them out. The link is at the top of the description below. But let's get into this video. Now, I asked that question to you guys, do you still play Marvel's Avengers? Do you still have it downloaded? Look, let me answer that question. The game is still downloaded on my console, okay? However, I don't really play Marvel's Avengers as much as people probably think I play Marvel's Avengers. I genuinely only play it now when there's a new event going down, when there's new skins in the game, or if I'm honest with you, when I'm genuinely bored and I want to kind of jump in to play some Marvel characters or test out a new build or whatever it may be. Now, I know this sounds crazy, okay? And the reason why it led to me making this video today I spoke to a lot of people that literally were able to relate to me and it's crazy because we're at this moment where people say look this is a big thing in the sense of when I say you know people not really playing Marvel's Avengers but still caring about the game like that's a big thing that's such a huge thing and like I said that's why I wanted to make this video which basically is a big video just to talk about this because the, the situation we're in and after speaking with tons of you guys as always in general over video calls etc etc is that with Marvel's Avengers, okay, it's a game where no matter what really goes down in the near future or long term, no matter whether you dislike the game or you like the game, I mean, let's just say you don't like the game. That's probably a good thing to, a good example to give right now. Let's say you don't like the game. I can guarantee you when a Black Panther DLC comes out, you're going to go ahead and hop into the game. Now, I honestly cannot name one person that I know personally that plays Marvel's Avengers every single day. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, if you know any creators especially as well that play this game all the time, let me know in the comments below. But I do genuinely believe there's not really a lot of people really sort of engaged with the game. But we're at that pinnacle moment where people care more for the, for the game than they do play the game and what I mean by that is we got the MCU skins potentially being revealed this week which is huge like that alone is massive we've been waiting to see these skins for a very long time first of all it was something that wasn't even ever confirmed like it was completely off the radar I guess you could say people were saying hey we need MCU skins and then we get to this moment where it's like hey we've got MCU skins and like that moment was crucial. Then it was like the Black Panther DLC, etc. So we're at that pinnacle moment where I care and I know literally thousands of other people care more about this game than they do play the game and this is why I think we're at such a crucial time because whatever happens from this mo moment onwards, we're still going to be playing the game. I I'm sick of like seeing people say, stop talking about Marvel Marvel's Avengers or stop playing Marvel's Avengers or it'll be going against somebody in the comments for example saying, Oh, you still play this game, etc., etc., which is crazy because it's it's really one of those things. Like everybody is still gonna play this game, whether they love it or hate it, at one point because it's a Marvel's Avengers game. It's your favorite Avengers characters, and it's a game that could be revived so many times based on the fact that they have a Marvel license to make an Avengers game. We are not, and this is a very, very eye big eye opener. We're not ever going to get a game like this, at least until another decade. 
Now let that sink in. And if I'm completely honest, if this, if this was to... It, and when I say this, I mean the license specifically. Like, if it ever was to be another developer or studio make the game and so forth in, like, another decade... I don't want to sound biased, but like I would rather it be Insomniac Games just simply because of their previous experience, but then at the same time it's like, could they make, you know, an online game like this as well? So it's like, a live service game is a really hard thing to go ahead and create and really nail down. I can't think of five good, I mean top of my head right now, I can't think of five good, really good live service games that have a good reputation. Like I genuinely cannot think off the top of my head of at least five of them so it's like you really niche yourself down into a genre of video gaming or like to develop and it's like well you know it kind of is one of those things that are frowned upon anyway but I believe that once we get these MCU skins revealed this week once we have the Tachyon Anomaly event this week as well like that's huge I'm gonna launch Marvel's Avengers just to play that like that's literally my sole purpose for playing Marvel's Avengers this week is to go ahead and do that sure I'm gonna like go ahead and do builds for like Iron Man Captain America and Thor because they're my favorite characters in the game and kind of like my go-to's actually to be fair alongside Hawkeye but like I'm gonna be trying to get my own builds so that when I jump into of course co-op with the other Tachyon Anomaly event attendees I guess you could say like I want my build to actually be valid for whatever reason it may be and I do think that's gonna be fun but then it's like it's frustrating because it's like, come on guys, we really need this to be something solidly cemented into the game's infrastructure where it's like, Marvel's Avengers comes with a tacky anomaly event where you can always go ahead and play the same heroes at the same time, even if it was once a week. Like, if it, imagine if it was a weekend event, that would be big. That would be okay with me, that would sit well with me if it was a weekend event, and I think it'd be a great way to monitor, uh, like, numbers for... Uh, people that either like view the game on Twitch for example or view the game via Steam etc. i would be interesting to see how those numbers go because it's like competitive right in some sort of way so I mean this, this is a prime example of when I'm talking about ideas and how we're at a, such a pinnacle moment for this game's existence that it can really go either direction but no matter what you're still going to be a, you know caring about the game and it's crazy like I spoke to one dude a while back that said I watch a lot of Marvel's Avengers content, I've seen everything, I've followed up all the way up until release and after, and I don't own Marvel's Avengers, and it's not the fact that I can't afford the game because I have the funds, it's I personally don't feel like there's enough for me in the game to be able to get my idea of value. And I think sometimes you have to appreciate that what people expect versus like the sum behind that game, everyone's got their own standards. In fact, I think it's a good thing having standards, right? Because then you know if you're going to be upset or not when you purchase a game. So, it's one of those situations, but what do you guys think? And like I said, read the comments. Let's see how many people still play this game or still have it downloaded. But guys, I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully will be revealing the MCU skins. But until then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos.